Our latest project brought us back to California. Follow along as we transform their home space by space in our Calabasas remodel project. It is a fun day today because we are moving to the kids' spaces in our Calabasas project. I love designing kids' spaces because you don't have to play it safe. You can incorporate color and pattern and just be playful with the design. I love when we have a client that is obsessed with wallpaper because it's just fun. Our client has two twin girls and they got to pick their own wallpaper as the accent wall in their bedroom. So we sent them stacks and stacks of options and we did wallpaper in their bedrooms, their bathroom, and on the ceiling of the playroom. In the first bedroom, we have this great floral wallpaper, and in front of it, we have all of these beautiful layers. A spindle bed, it's a classic, it always works. And then next to it, we did um, kind of a non-traditional nightstand. We did these great rattan side tables. And I kind of love that the lamps have this uh, granny chic shape to them that just works. And then to tie it all together, we have this long vintage lumbar that just adds the extra pink that we needed. The bathroom in here is just cute. Pink and white wallpaper, brass fixtures, and then a lucite mirror. And to top it all off, we did this funky little modern light. The playroom really pushed us creatively. Um, naturally, I am inclined to pull back a little bit when it comes to color palettes, but in here, we just went for it and did all the colors. We have pink and orange and blue and green, and together it just works and is a great place to imagine and make believe. The playroom needed to function in a few different ways. We needed storage for toys, we needed a place for reading, and instead of doing a boring sofa, we did a great big day bed filled with lots of cozy pillows. And then the other part of the playroom was a place for artwork. We did a table and chairs, and then my favorite thing in the whole space is this custom house chalkboard that we had made. Our client was kind of thinking that she wanted chalkboard paint somewhere and we didn't have a clear place to end it and so we decided to make this great focal point and I love how it turned out. When designing a space you don't want to forget to look up. Here we did this cool wave wallpaper on the ceiling and then finished it off with this really interesting light fixture that has this geometric shape around it. Next we have the swan bedroom. The color palette is a little bit more subdued and I love that the brass lamps really stand out against the wallpaper. And you'll see here we kind of balanced out these round shapes in the lamps with this great juju hat as the focal point above the bed. And it works because the headboard is a little bit lower and we have these tall ceilings and so we definitely needed something above the bed. The vintage textiles, the mud cloth, and the batik aren't obvious choices for a kid's space, but I like that they elevate the overall feel. I love how the adjoining bathroom turned out. It has this great tonal floral wallpaper and then my favorite scallop tile. And we carried that curved shape into the mirror and even the sconces have a little curved detail to them as well. We've had this vintage painting sitting at the office just waiting for the perfect moment and we had this blank spot above the toilet and that was our moment. My big tips for kids' spaces, 
Have fun with it, yes, but also be conscious of making design choices that will grow up with your child so you're not having to redo their room a hundred times. We've already shown you a few of the spaces from this house and we still have a few more up our sleeves, so stay tuned for more. Head to the blog to see the full tour.